Good afternoon everyone. Today is 4th of February and it's World Cancer Day. Our heart goes out to all our friends, relatives, boys, girls, mothers and fathers that have lost their life over the years to cancer. We say that may they are so rest in peace. And to the relatives, friends and family, we say okay or zemen and all that should not happen. <sighs> Having said that, we want to say that the uh, 4th of February is recognized as World Cancer Day. Knowing that cancer is unlimited, does not have boundary, so cannot be dealt with particularly by any country. And therefore they came together to recognize 4th of February, that was in 2000, as World Cancer Day. So today I would like to tell you about five things you should do to avoid cancer. In as much as there are factors that you may not be able to um, avoid or change, for instance your age your gene, your, let's say, environmental factors or exposures in the past. This you may not be able to change, but there are things you can do. I know you want to know about it, so keep on going. Number one, change your diet. You are what you eat. Number two is lose that weight. There is an increased risk of cancer with obesity. Someone who is obese may not necessarily have cancer or be a cancer patient in the future but the person's risk of getting cancer is increased so please lose that weight number three quit smoking smoking is associated with increased risk of cancer especially lung cancer is this popular saying that smokers die young that's because it is not healthy seek help when you need it and you will get it that's our third point. Number four, change that sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary lifestyle can be associated with obesity and obesity can be associated with cancer. No, 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 no. I didn't say that, I didn't say that. What I'm trying to say is that sedentary lifestyle can be associated with obesity and obesity, there is, with obesity, there is increased risk of cancer compared to those whose weight are within normal range. Finally, but not the least, change your mind. So, the last but not the least is change your mindset. Change your mindset towards healthcare, towards vaccination, towards going to the hospital. Cancer is not a death sentence. If detected on time, it can be managed. So, do your best to attend some screening that are available. So, I'll mention some of the screenings that can be done. For breast cancer, we have self-breast examination. We have clinical breast examination. We have mammography that can be done after 50 years of age. For cervical cancer, we have a uh, pap smear that can be done. In fact, I think it's um, for ladies that are sexually active, it's advised to get to start doing it even at young age. Let's say 25, 30, you should have a pap smear done. Now, for colorectal cancer, we have something called FIT, F-I-T, FECA Immunochemical Test. In Nigeria, it's called FECA Occult Blood. Okay? Now, there are also some vaccination that can be done. Also, There are some preventive measures. There are some screening. There are some vaccination. In fact, there are people that still do not believe in vaccination. <laughs> I'm not saying that vaccination is a treatment of disease, but it's preventive and helps. It helps with some diseases. For instance, do you know about HPV vaccination? I don't think it's common in Nigeria, but... It should be common in Nigeria and everywhere. But in the UK, it's administered to children 12 to 13 years of age. It is preventive against human papilloma virus infection. It's a vaccination against human papilloma virus, which is linked with cancer, especially long, especially cervical and oral cancer. But some people will not take it. Oh my dear, let's take our health seriously. And I think if we apply these five things, our life will be better. In as much as 
we will do our best and leave every other thing to God, who is the creator of all and has the capability to keep and save. But ensure that you are in charge of your health. Do your part and let God do his part. To everyone that lost a patient, a sister, a mother, brother, father, friend to cancer, may the God of all comfort comfort you. I will see you in my next video. Take care. I remain your humble girl, Sustina. Please support us in this channel. Click that like button so that YouTube can advertise us. Subscribe, share. I will see you. Bye-bye.